it's about extending the life of these priceless pieces of art. What we're trying to do here is mimic what the road conditions would do to a painting, to a crate. If we fundamentally understand what is the interaction between these three components, the truck, the crate, the canvas, then we can use that information to make better decisions and as to how to transport these, under what conditions. I think it's astonishing. It's amazing. I've, when uh, Vikram first told me that we're here to measure uh, yeah, paintings and transportation crates, I thought, why on earth would anyone be interested in that? But just seeing the, the value that's being shipped around and what kind of stress those pictures are uh, exposed to during transportation, I, I understand, but the conservation efforts are huge. And uh, I think, yeah, trying to conserve those pictures and making them available at the same time to a large number of people, I mean, that's admirable. When we want to scan an area, when we want to look at the vibration levels over an area, which is what we are doing here, it can be done either by sequentially scanning with one laser beam by going point to point to point. And using that conventional technique, we repeat the excitation at each and every point. So then we can assume that everything happened at the same time if the excitation is repeatable, which works very well in uh, most cases where repeating an excitation is not a big deal. We can keep doing it. The reason we brought this system, which is called a multi-point vibrometer system, is so that we don't have to repeat it. What we are trying to do is reduce the amount of times we have to excite an original piece of art. So we do that by just having to tap it once, but multiple beams hit the canvas and the easel, in this case, and measure the vibrations by just one tap over the entire area. This is a good first step, right? I mean, just um, fundamental characterization of different types of crate designs, the effect of glazing, the effect of backing, uh, and different sizes. Um, when it, and, and uh, I mean, honestly, before meeting you, I did not realize how much um, engineering and science goes into not only building crates, but also uh, designing how to ship these.